From its earliest days, Susan G. Komen for the Cure has been the voice of breast cancer patients and survivors, advocating for women's health from state capitals, where we are fighting to preserve funding of state screening programs and to close gaps in access to cancer treatment. To Capitol Hill, where we helped pass uniform, high-quality screening standards and have increased cancer research funding by 30-fold since 1982. To the United Nations, where we are fighting to get cancer, a disease that takes more lives globally every year than tuberculosis, malaria, and AIDS combined, included in the global health agenda. Whether Komen advocates are talking to presidents, congressmen, governors, or speaking to the press, they speak for the 2.5 million breast cancer survivors in the United States, with the force of hundreds of thousands of passionate advocates standing behind them all across the country. Sometimes, Komen affiliates and local activists are the only voice for women who find themselves blocked from cancer care. This was the case for Jeanette Oxelson, a 64-year-old uninsured artist who was diagnosed with stage three breast cancer and nowhere to go. I got to the point where I thought I was going to die and that I needed to make peace with that idea. Other times, the message is as simple as why an activist votes the way she does. A reminding Congress that breast cancer doesn't care what party you belong to, that we all come from pink states. Large or small, our nation's leaders take notice. They know that Komen will not sit idly by when lives are at stake. And if there was any question about our resolve, when a government panel recommended women of average risk wait until age 50 to get their annual mammograms, rather than age 40 as Komen recommends, Komen's chief activist put those doubts to rest. Her message was heard loud and clear in the halls of Congress and by the administration. This is really a, a nightmare. We at Susan G. Komen are not changing our recommendations. And action was taken as access to mammography for women in their 40s was protected in the Affordable Care Act. Yet there is still much to do. With a new Susan G. Komen for the Cure Breast Cancer Bill of Rights to guide the way, demanding access, quality care, and coverage for cancer patients, Komen is putting policymakers on notice that our bold community of advocates have only begun to fight for women's health across the country.